Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, I wanna show you how to trade a long call vertical in Tastyworks. So we're looking at a chart of SPY, and let's say your assumption was you thought this was going to kind of turn around and continue higher. So you were looking for a bullish trade in, in anticipation of higher prices. You could look at buying a call vertical, doing a long call vertical spread. So it's very easy on the Tastyworks platform. Simply click on the trade tab, and when you're on the table mode, what you'll see is the option chains populate. We like to cha we like to trade between that 30 and 60 days to expiration, uh, and you can see the monthly options are bolded with uh, with a with a more bold white. The others are a little bit more grayed out and have a, a W or a Q for weekly or quarterly options. So we stick with the monthlies and between 30 and 60 days. So if we open up that option chain, you'll see all the different strikes available. And so what we're looking at is buying a call vertical spread. So remember the calls are always on the left and we wanna start with the options that are slightly in the money. So you can see this little ITM with the arrow pointed up. That means all the strikes above that line are in the money. All the strikes below are out of the money. So when we set these up, we like to start a little bit in the money and then buy the options a little bit out of the money. So to do that, you can simply just piece it together by clicking on either the bid or the ask. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is choose the strike that's slightly in the money. Let's just choose the 274 and for this example, and we want to buy that one. So we're gonna click on the ask and that's gonna populate this highlighted green buy box. So you know it's if it's a buy that it's colored green. And then we're going to sell the option that's slightly out of the money. So let's just do five points wide, which would bring us to the 279. And then we can simply sell that one. And you know it's a sell because you've got the S1 and it's highlighted in red. Okay, so we're buying the in the money, we're selling the out of the money. And then if you look down below, you see all of your statistics. So you can see this is probability of profit of holding it all the way to expiration. It's about a 50-50 bet, 49%. If you manage it at 50%, so the probability of making 50% is up to 63. You see the delta is positive because we, we know this is a bullish position. We want the stock to go up, so that's going to be a positive delta number. You can see the theta, the max profit, and the max loss for the trade. If that's good for you and that's everything that you need to know about the trade, you can simply hit review and send and shoot that in. I wanna show you a couple different things. I wanna show you the, the visual representation of this and I wanna show you one other way to set it up on your trade platform. So if we clear this off, the other way you can do it is you can go up to your strategy drop down here and remember we're looking to buy a long call vertical. So you can just click on this, toggles it to long, Click on this, toggles it from put to call, and then you can look at your drop down and, and make sure it's clicked on vertical. And when you click on that, it automatically puts the strikes down on your, on your trade tab, and it automatically defaults to slightly out of the money, the, the next out of the money strike. So those aren't the ones we want for this example. Let's just click and drag this up to the one we want, which in this case was the 270 floor. We can click this one down and it's just, you can drag these around, it's very easy. Uh, let's drag it back to the 279 where we wanted. Now you can see all the statistics line up for exactly how we had it before. So again, you can just review and send that or what I like to do first, just for double confirmation, is go over to the curve tab, make sure you're clicked on the analysis tab as well and that'll bring up the visual representation Green represents when you're making money. Red represents when you're losing money on the trade. You can hover over the break even. You can see up here on the flag that it gives you the uh, P&L at expiration. And then the P&L Theo is where the P&L is on that profit line right now. So you can see if, as I scroll how that changes from negative to positive and from positive to negative. And so this gives you that visual representation. The other thing you can do is if you decide, okay, I don't necessarily want these strikes, I wanna move these around a little bit, you can just click and drag the tiles, you can widen that out, you can make them a little bit more narrow, you can do whatever you want, and then you can check the stats down below as they change from your probability of profit 
probability of making 50%, your max profit, max loss, and you can see the same information up here on the, on the flag as you scroll along to give yourself an idea of where the break-even point is, where you start to lose money, where you start to make money, etc. The other thing you can do is you can uh, pop out this little window here and look at some different theoretical values. So you can, you, can just, you can move this through time to see exactly what happens as you move through time. You can adjust the volatility, so you can move the implied volatility up and down to see how that affects your profit on the trade. So you can do pretty much anything you want. It's a great tool. It gives you this visual representation, which I'm a big fan of. And then once you're ready to go, simply click review and send, send it into the broker to get filled. So I hope that was helpful in showing you how to trade a long call vertical on the Tastyworks platform. See you in the next lesson.